ever think to yourself, what would you be doing right now if disc golf never existed? Would you have those moments of staring out in the distance every day, maybe every week, and just having this hopeful and excited feeling to see your disc? Fly straight through the gap and land exactly where you wanted it to go. The visual that came in your head before was amazing. All you had to do was play your part. Make sure that your feet were perfect. Make sure that your arm was straight on your line all the way through the pool. You know how much power to use, because you played. You played every day for the past year since COVID-19 started. You got it. You put in the work. You own it. This gap is yours. I guess not though, I guess you just need to go to the field and do some field work. Ready? Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Disking Around. I know you guys have been wondering, where's John Jay? Why hasn't he been putting out any videos? Well, I had to, uh, uh, hold on, let me start over. Just let me turn my phone off. Why do people have to call you? Do not disturb. Okay. Hold Pretty on. please. Oh, baby, baby. Volume off. Look, okay. bear. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome to another episode of Disking Around. I know you guys have been wondering, where is John Jay? Where, what happened to his videos? Well, uh, don't, don't give up on me. I had to take some time off to uh, focus on my family and... Uh, have some family obligations to take care of but I am back at it with nicer equipment great ideas for you guys and uh, yeah I can't wait to put out some more content for y'all make sure you subscribe like and comment and uh, yeah let's get into this video while I was out uh, I learned a lot of things uh, that really improved my game so I'm gonna do a series of videos uh, just to let you guys know um, what I learned and hopefully it'll help uh, uh, all of you in your game. Today we are going to talk about gaps. As you saw in the intro of the video, uh, yeah, it, it, it's very hurtful when you step up to the tee pad and like all I got to do is just hit this gap and you know I'm there, I'm at the basket, you know, I got a par or a birdie, you know, I'm good. But sometimes it's not always easy to hit a gap, especially when you got like what, like a 10 or 20 foot gap to hit. Yeah, that's what we call fat, first available tree. Yeah. No pun intended. <laughs> Here in my time off, I was like, I really want to work on gaps. I'm tired of hitting trees. People tell me to do field work, but when you go to a field, there's no gaps. It's an open field. So, But you don't want to go to like the woods, throw all these discs, and have to go find them, uh, which sucks because you might lose a couple discs. Right. Which... Yeah, because every single spot you hit in the, in the wooded area, it's going to be a variable gap. When you can make one up, that's going to you know almost mimic what you're hitting at other courses that are wooded. Yeah. You get the same kind of flow. So you're able to shape your shot between that gap and kind of you know repeat that process when you're actually on the fairway in the wooded area. So it's just pinnacle right there instead of just picking one out here because you get a small twig and a fat tree. And that small <laughs> twig can say, swap, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> How many discs have you like lost during your time of playing? How would you? How many would you say? Oh, oh, oh! The, the haunted forest have definitely grappled quite a few, but good old luckily uh, seventeen Alexander, as we all know, she swallowed quite a few. She's taken. I, I'm pretty sure a lot of those tortoises out there have now uh, some disc craft and end of the lily pads for the rest of their life. <laughs> so, <laughs> but you know, hey, it is what it is. Just plastic. All of you broke people and people that don't want to have to go look for discs. This is definitely a, a good idea to help you guys so absolutely I did a lot of research online 
trying to figure out how can I bring the gaps to the field so that I can create my own gap and not have to worry about, you know, trying to find all my discs, so. Yeah, so you got these swanky upright poles that are pretty cool. Yeah, these are called agility poles. So uh, these were actually created for like soccer and maybe football and things like that. But basically it's two poles. One end you have a little spike that goes into the ground and then it has this little spring, which I actually love because uh, once you connect these, right, you connect them like this and if it was solid and it didn't have that spring, you more than likely would hit it and it would ricochet really far. So um, that's pretty cool how it has this spring here. So you basically just push it into the ground and there you go, you can create a gap. Oh, no, 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 well, no. You gotta, sometimes you gotta level it out just to make it straight up. But anyways, but they work perfectly. I mean, I went out and uh, practiced gaps with these for like one hour and I'm telling you, I was, it, it took so many strokes off my game. Changed my game tremendously. I, I know it will, because it just did a one hour of practice, so. Yeah, you're finessing your touch. That's a big thing right there. When you're 200 feet away, you're trying to get inside circle one, you don't need a lot of power, you just need touch. Yes. And you make sure to let that, that, stable, that stable disc just go. Just go and carry that glide. You know, oh, yeah. All about that little touch, and right between that gap, yeah, that's a big thing between you know shaping a shot of shooting over, making it harder for yourself, having to do a roller. Yeah, you know? yeah. And the good thing about these things too is that uh, I think they're about what five feet high, maybe. Uh, or, yeah, I'd or, say oh, about a little, little about five feet. Maybe yeah. no, nah, I would no, because I'm like five seven. So. Well, I'm six foot. So yeah, it's probably about five seven or five six. Anyways, Pick up but they're actually the perfect height because. A lot of times when you throw discs, you don't want to throw them so high. Beginners usually throw really high and they're not getting the disc low enough so it can get that distance. And these actually let you uh, have you know, a height target to where you can practice getting, you know, throwing the disc low enough so you can get more distance. So. Absolutely, yep. But I always say, worry about distance last. The most important thing is hitting your lines, which is probably the same thing as hitting gaps and uh putting so but we'll talk about putting in another video but yeah let's go ahead and set up these poles and uh show how it works so awesome let's get at it all right as you can see we have the gap set up and we got one extra pole in the back as a target um, obviously you can set these up however you want uh, but let's just see how it works. See, uh, that showed me I was off my uh, my uh, line just a little bit. Again. Oh! Ah! He broke the post. Oh. He broke the post. All right, here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh that could go so many ways. All right, here we go. Damn. See, obviously, I still need to do some more work on my gaps, but with it being so small, you definitely can. You know. I feel like you did that on purpose. <laughs> I've seen him play numerous times. He can, he can hit the gap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's, he's just, he's just playing around people. Don't let him fool you. <laughs> I wouldn't place your money against him. Oh yeah, do the gap. See if you can hit that pole. Uh, oh, wrong pole. Smash that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cool because you can smack them and they'll hit the ground. They'll come right back up in the same position. All right guys, so yeah, that was just a quick little visual of what it looks like to practice with these things. Um, again, you can set them up however you want. You can even like take your back pole and put it all the way to the right so you can work on hitting the gap with a forehand you know it fading out to hit the the point that you want to land on so yeah there's so many things you could do with these go and get you uh some agility poles i got these for about 
uh, 30 bucks I think um, I found it on uh, Amazon and um, thanks yeah. Jeff Bezos huh thanks Jeff Bezos Jeff Be what? Bezos the CEO of Amazon oh I don't even know his name oh <laughs> <laughs> Well, shout out to Jeff Bezos for uh, hooking us up with these poles. I'm just joking. <laughs> now, I'm not sponsored by, uh, you know, the makers of these poles. So, um, I just found them. So, I got a set of four. So, you get four poles for about 30 bucks. So, but yeah, go get you some. Try it out. You know, if you get some and try it out, uh, make sure you leave a comment below. Let me know how it worked out for you. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already and you're watching my channel, please, please subscribe. It really helps out. And uh, yeah, thank y'all, and thank you, Chris, for coming on today and help, helping me, man. Yeah, appreciate it. So, All right, everybody. Well, practice, 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 and rock on. We'll catch y'all another time. All right, peace. Bye, y'all.